Hello everyone, another Modern Masters Draft here, and what are we looking for, John? What do we want? How much is Fire Lotus Bloom worth? I don't know, you get, you're the one who gets to check stuff, remember? I don't have this up at the... Um, That's for Zoe. This is kind of cute with like Sanctum Gargoyle and all Sanctum that stuff. Sanctum Gargoyle and the Fairy Mechanist, that thing's awesome, it's a 4-3-2. This card, we just did Giants, I don't know if you yeah, want to do Yeah, I don't want to do Giants again. Let's dodge the giants this time. So, if the foil lotus bloom's worth something, we'll consider it. Probably not worth anything, though, unfortunately. It is worth 60. Oh no, that is a promo lotus bloom. It is worth a dollar. Yeah, we're taking the espers off. <laughs> Alright. So I have a better pyromancer swap, but I think that's it. Good. The, the affinity decker, the. It's pretty good, like, this thing goes well into that strategy. Yep, premium. Also, double mana ramp cards. Yeah, there's a bunch of green stuff. Hmm. But this is primo for that strategy. So, it's probably this guy, unless we want an audible. I mean, we've only made one pick, so it's not really an audible, but... Uh, there's also Vertiloth the Ancient, which is insane. This is if you want to try and stay on track, or... Kenaman's Reach. Hmm. It's also very good, by the way. There's only one artifact in this pack, so chances are we won't have anything coming back to us that's good from this pack. So this will be playable. Sure. So you want this, then? Uh, it's whatever you want. Let's try Kenaman's Reach deck. Get past Errant Ephemeron. Errant Ephemeron's good. Let's careful consideration do. Instant, draw four, discard three, or if it's main phase, draw four, discard two. Right. That's also a Packer site. Hmm. Basic land cycling if we want to go for a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um Ephemeron's good. Blight speakers, so we can get a bunch of blight speakers. Hmm. Careful considerations good. There's also blue green is kind of a thing. Blue green is the suspend deck. Yeah. I mean, if we're doing blue green, we want the Aaron Ephemera. Yeah, it's objectively the most powerful card too. I think. Okay, we'll take it. In a yep. vacuum here. Yeah, it's not bad. Ooh, we could grab a spell stutter spray. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Or. Drag down. If we want to do this, yeah, drag down is actually a good card. I like drag down. It's pretty solid removal. So, yeah, the uh, five color deck is surprisingly playable with the sky reach mantas and all that business. Yeah, so let's take the drag down. <laughs> Probably hide this us. We just don't play this. Try him predator. It's pretty hot. Otherwise, there's like fairy mechanism, which makes this come back over. <laughs> Uh, do we want Fairy Mechanist, or do we want Trigon Predator? 2-3 destroys enchantments and artifacts, right? It's yeah. actually not bad. Hmm. I guess we could take it. <laughs> kind of stay open a little bit here. Yeah, yeah we'll that back over again. Yeah. Another Trigon Predator? Okay, I can see this. Infinite Trigon Predator in that deck? Sure. Or we could have had two spell stutter sprites. Whatever. Huh. We could have had three spell stutter sprites in a row. Okay, so now this is interesting here. This is actually playable if we're doing the Kadama's Reach deck, which we mm. could. We also then want to focus on these basic land cyclers as well. Yeah. So, yeah, let's grab another storm. Yeah, there's nothing really. Vivid yeah, so Land a or Logic? Vivid land? Over a Logic Knot? I guess. Well, if you want to do the five extra color colors, deck, you don't yeah. really want to be doing double of any I'm right. thinking here. Okay. That's fine, then. Yeah, so these are all premium cards for us. Okay. All the Vivid Limbs. We want more Drag Downs. We want uh, Sky Reach Mantas. Right, Hatch because Oracle those very easily playable. become like, like four, 4 or 5 5 flyers. Yeah. That's Oracle, yep. Uh, Kind of garbage here. 
It's like street race. Because it cycles? Uh huh. Yeah. This is, this is playable, this is playable. Yeah. If we take this, Most we bring that back in. Maybe Mustard then? I don't know. Mustard? Uh, or. Yeah, Mustard? It's just a 3 3 dredge guy. Yeah, sure. Why not? Whatever. Just kind of pick things up and just kind of go, okay, sure, why not? Yeah, well, definitely looks like they're playing green blue for. Right. right. Um, this is great defense and produces tokens. Sure. So. Number no. five that can produce tokens. Okay, so we have Dust Wasp here. Or we have this guy which draws us two cards. For six. It's six mana. It's a one four that draws two cards. Yeah. I think the Dust Wasp is fun. Sure. Got the Dust Wasp. Because we're definitely green blue. Can you grab an Archimeda? Is it one one flyer for two or another greater moss dog? Or actually maybe we grab a sense of listener. Hmm. I don't know what this does. Oh it's the retrace one? Yeah. You want it? No, I'm out of time. We're getting a boss. Yeah. Uh this could be good. It brings back Kadama's reach. Sure. Echo and courage for our infinite trigon predators. Or this guy who has pseudo removal attached. Uh, I almost too late. This. Okay. And we pick right. up a siphon life at fifteen. So we got a weird little green blue thing going here. Possible extra colors. Metamorphose, Trump the domain, just seems like the straight pick. Uh yeah. hoping maybe to see a thalid or two then come back through. Yeah. So one of these two we'd like to see come back through. Because Trump the Domains plus the tokens deck just goes insane. Siphon Life would probably do the double black. Black's probably going to be a splash color. I mean, to be fair, everything. We're just, now that we have Trump <laughs> the Domains, we'll have one like end up showing no what. But right. Just extra value. Could do <laughs> Bridge from below! <laughs> or, you know, like an Antuko Shaman. It's blue, it's green it's double green, but green's our main color. So for its spend. Um Scouts fine but not great. Desperate ritual fine but not great. Ivory uh -huh. Giant fine but not great. <laughs> I think it's the shaman. Or maybe Aether Spell Bomb. Maybe the spell bomb. It's one of these two. Spell bomb can cantrip or bounce a guy. This just this is a three two for three, or it becomes a three two for four with suspend one and draw card. You pick up a bunch of spell bombs. You can play Esper Zola. Okay. Or, you know, it's very good too. Right. Oh, Vivid land or spell bomb or a, another Thalid. Thalids are actually premium with Bob. <laughs> Blinding this makes Demon's everything well. so good, though. Right. So our four picks here are this. Interesting. Which of those four would you like, or would you like to cross off with the list? I really think it's, been, hmm. it's tough. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. This gives us more defense, which lets mm -hmm. us wait for the Tromp. This is good because it removes everything, but Tromp just wins over this, I think. So let's take this guy. Alright. It's I either that or the spell bomb. Oh. We could just be straight up Thalids now. How much does this cost to suspend? Uh, for Evoke. Oh, Evoke. It's blue, blue one. This or this, maybe? Probably this. We're getting actually a reasonable Thalid group, and Trump the Domains is the best card in the Thalid deck. Ever. Is this better than either of these cards? Maybe better than that, not necessarily better than that. I was actually thinking this is the most powerful. Bouncing on land for blue, blue one? Mm. Up to you. 
Like again, you don't need solids for this to be right. insane. The problem insane. is that this thing costs six, or it's evoked for blue, blue one. Like, you want the thalad? Sure. Are you certain? No, one second. All right, never mind. Thalad. Yeah. I think uh, I. There's oh, rude awakening. Rude awakening or another thalad? Infinite thalads or rude awakening? I think this just wins the game. Yeah, rude rude awakening probably wins over the, the that one definitely. It's just rude awakening. Oh, that's good. Also, Jehora would be kind of funny. Yeah. Suspend. I think the expanse is fine. Suspend my uh, confidence. <laughs> Try to build up in time. Ooh, Manta. Yeah, let's pick that up. Although I need some of those for modern at some point. <laughs> I wonder, is that worth something? Oh, it's not anymore. The the one four is just better than this, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Except that allows you to cast extra artifact spells, but. I bought deck, I'd play one of each, just because Storm is such a bad matchup. I'm gonna grab the Gleam of Resist- or, hmm. Do you want a Thalad or a Gleam of Resistance? I don't think we want this card. You don't? It's basic land cycling. But you have to have a white to actually cycle it, right? Sure. <laughs> uh, okay, we can either take another low Thalad or a big Thalad that makes them all. Okay. I agree with this guy. So we're green splashing whatever the hell. Yeah. Is this just to find right? Trump? Yeah, I guess. Finds Trump, it finds Kodama's Reach. If we have find the Trump, it finds Echoing Courage, finds Rude Awakening. Yeah, I think it's fine. I don't like doing uh, this. Uh, Maybe for a removal? Sure. Since we're splashing everything? Sure. Dragon Storm! <laughs> Dragon Storm. Dragon Storm! My dear sir. Why? How about incremental growth? Sure. It's very incremental. <laughs> the growth is so incremental. Dragon Storm! No. Yeah, maybe <laughs> if we pick up four Bogardian Hellkites in the next pack. We can uh, play dragons. Is that even in this? I don't know. I think the only dragons in this are the five legendaries. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You're like, oh, that's sad. That is kind of sad. Oh, wait, yeah, no, time. there's Partic Dragon. Oh, Partic Dragon, sure. You want to pick up Jehora? Uh, okay. I mean, they're both bad, bad, but... This guy. Sure, we're picking up a Drakmore Salvage. <laughs> I suppose Jehora can do something. Also, I can use it for EDH later. Right. Uh, Scion of Una, Flicker Wisp, Thalad, Thalad, mm -hmm. Avengeranger. These all suck. There's also the scary problem, Yeah, the problem with Flicker Wisp for us is double white. Mm hmm Maybe it's one of the thal it's one of these three probably. You want a second Sky Reach Mint or do you want another Thalad Maker? I want this. Okay, we'll probably get one of those two back anyways. Yeah. Now if we took this, we'll definitely get this back, so we'd have even more Thalad Makers. Yeah. But this just kind of I think it's fine. I think that's I really fine. I don't think Thalad is that strong of a strategy. It's a pretty damn strong strategy, especially with a Trump. Pick up Electrolyze. Or another Ancient. Or our first Mycoderm, which really makes the strategy. Hmm. Want to Electrolyze, which requires two of our Splat... Well, no matter what, these are both Splash. Well, it requires one splash. Right. The main colors here are blue green. Well, the main color is green plus everything. Yeah. Get on the sideboard. Is Electrolyze better than having one of these, which pumps your entire Zeppelin team? Yeah, that card's not good. <laughs> it's really good in the right in this. This card, 
Well, this is more micro. Well, but that's going to wheel because it's double color. This is going to wheel. Yeah, but if we grab one of these, then the other will wheel. Five seconds. I don't want electrolyze. Which of these two would you like? I want electrolyze. What we really need is another Kadama's Reach. What we really need is another Kadama's Reach. I agree. Which I guess we're not going to hit anymore at this point. This guy? Sure. Yeah, for some reason we got cut on the Kadama's Reach. Is another one of these? A freaking sure. huge. Or an Imperiosaur. Also on Imperius, sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Liquid land or traumatic vision? <laughs> Actually, the Imperius sword pick was pretty bad. Yeah, it was. We probably should have just picked up another several, I think. Yeah, let's pick up Vivid Grove, I think. Okay. Yeah, because we can't cast the Imperius sword off I and yeah. our Vivid Lands. Whoopsie. This Renelge is pretty okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Fine with it. It's a draw effect. Yeah, I think Imperiosaur is probably unplayable. That was pretty bad. Oh well. Were we really going to play three Sporoloth Ancients? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> that thing's a 4-4 four, four for 5, worst case. And it produces a 1-1 one, one each, every two turns. Well, there you go. We'll pick up another one of those little guys. Or how about Erratic Mutation? Yeah, um, we have a lot of high drops. Is Erratic Mutation better than producing more guys? This card is a 1-1 one, one for 1. That produces a 1-1 one, one every 3 turns. It's If you have the strategy, you have the strategy. and it is I awesome. hate this card. It's pretty good. I think it's pretty bad. We'll take it. I think it's a bad card, and it's just bad. <laughs> we'll pick up one. Do we have any of those yet? No? Alright, fine. I'm, I'm fine picking up one of them. And we pick up a German here. Or, or one of these three. But the German well, let's go with If we're all in on the salads, we're all in on the salads. Um, Passed up Matt's admirer there. Pick up. I think we should have picked up Echoing Truth. Yeah, but that just seals the. The Pilot Microderm really does help a lot because it just. It basically is like an extra trump the domains in the Thalad deck. Now, mind you, again, Thalad loses to fairies. Yep. So if we go up against their fairies, shit. <laughs> Except yep. we have some Sky Reach Manta, which actually probably beats fairies. We also have the Dragon Predators. Yeah, so we're probably fine versus the fairies. Equipment, Sunburst. Interestingly enough, this thing dies and makes this thing huge, but equipment. <laughs> also, this thing huge. Also, those things huge. I guess we'll take another shaman. Sure. Shaman's a card, cards, which is nice. And Back to we can technically, hey, we picked up an erratic mutation. Anyways, now you can stop being mad. <laughs> <laughs> I won't ever stop being mad. Well, you are eternally angry, aren't you? I'm like a little kid. Unless I get my way, I'm gonna be mad. And even when I do get my way, sometimes I'll cry. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> you'll cry. That's right. Let's see. I see. Sometimes you'll cry. All the time. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. So for your viewers in Alaska, right now it is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit because we're on silly American units. Very hot and humid. All right, let's see here. 
Oh, yeah, we'll Let's do it a I think. Yeah, slight date's not the greatest in here. Um, um playable sideboard. I'm just kind of taking out anything that should be sideboard. It's not great for us. Yeah. Probably don't need the incremental growth. Mm-hmm. Fiery fall. Probably still play because we're playing a red. Aren't we? Or maybe we one, just don't. One red? Do we actually just go with, like, color here? Well, no, we want at least four colors for that. Well, we do have the two vivids. And we have a Terramorphic Expanse. Uh, we could do just three Well, we'd probably throw in one extra just so this guy can actually draw cards. Well, we could take him out, I mean. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's probably a better idea. Um, um a little bit worse, too. But we probably won't. I don't know. Probably don't need the Greater Moss Dogs. So right now we're at 26. Mm. I mean, Trump is bad at that point. No, Trump's still good. Just the trample is insane. Just plus, plus two, plus two on trample. Yeah, that's insane. It's basically overrun. Right. 26. Uh, let's see. I mean, we, we want the Pallid Mycoderm just because he's good for the strategy. Well, the Mantas aren't great, though. Yeah, the Mantas probably just... Sideboard. If we go up against fairies, we want them. Yeah. Let's see. Is Pierre going to help us? He finds Echoing Truth, Thirst for Knowledge, Erratic Mutation, Rude Awakening, Rude Awakening, Rude Awakening Trump. Trump. Okay, that's fine. We're at 24 right now, so we just need to cut one more card. Maybe we cut the f Thirst for Knowledge? Uh, yeah, we only have... We have... One artifact. artifact, so yeah. Okay, so like this. Add the basics. One, three, ten. Kind of want cool. four, nine, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, blue. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, green, 1, white. Yeah, that's probably finally like that, because we have the Vivid Lands as well. Okay. Or would you rather do 5, 8 because of the Vivid Lands? Yeah. Okay. Helps Ooh. us make certain we hit these Trigon Predators a little bit better. Yeah. Alright, well we'll submit and see you all in round one.